Why was Darwin wrong about evolution? The fact of the matter is, Darwin wasn't wrong about evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution is actually a successful scientific theory. It does a tremendous job of explaining the ability of organisms to adapt to an ever-changing world and how one species can actually evolve into another species. And Darwin identified this mechanism of natural selection that is quite powerful. And in fact, since Darwin's time, biologists have ad identified other mechanisms that likewise uh, can contribute to the ability of organisms to respond to their environment and the ability of, again, species to give rise to new species. What Darwin got wrong about evolution was what we might call his general theory, where he argued that these same mechanisms that can explain speciation can account for the totality of biology, that they can explain the origin of life, the history of life. They can explain the diversity of living organisms. They can explain the, the biogeographical distribution of organisms. Darwin even argued that this very mechanism could explain the appearance of design in biology, where Darwin now replaced the mind of a creator with the mechanism of evolution. The problem here is this. The more that we've characterized the history of life, the more that we see that these evolutionary mechanisms that Darwin uncovered, the evolutionary mechanisms that are available to evolutionary biologists today, simply cannot explain key transitions in life's history. They can't explain the origin of life. They can't explain the origin of eukaryotic cells. They can't explain the origin of sexual reproduction, the origin of body plans. They can't even explain the origin of our exceptional nature as human beings. Evolutionary biologists struggle to explain uh, our capacity for symbolism, that is our ability to express ideas with language or with music or art that evolutionary mechanisms can't uh, explain our appreciation for beauty, what's called our aesthetic sense. In fact, when we study each of these transitions, we recognize that life is going from one regime of complexity to another. And these transitions happened abruptly. They, they happened dramatically, suddenly, without any kind of intermediary grades documenting that transition. Eugene Koonin at the National Institutes of Health referred to these transitions as biology's big bangs. And so when I see biology's big bangs, these to me look like a creation event. What would it look like if a creator intervened to bring about his creative purposes? Wouldn't it look like sudden appearances taking place in Earth's history, sudden transitions? And so we see the very fingerprint I would expect to see if a creator played a role. So when we look at the history of life, we need both Darwin's mechanism of evolution as well as a creator's involvement to account for the totality of biology. If you wanna know more about how to think about evolution from a Christian worldview perspective, I would invite you to take a look at a book that I participated in called Thinking About Evolution.